The continued challenges accessing the British Virgin Islands by air renders the territory more expensive and less convenient to get to than its competitors. A reality Premier Dr. D. Orlando Smith says his administration will not give up on solving. For the first time since BVI Airways blamed the government for contributing to some of its delays in launching flights between Tortola and Miami, the Premier revealed the government's plan should the airline remain unable to deliver on the $7 million invested by his administration. If the Honorable Leader of the Opposition has a magic formula for doing so, let him present it. In absence of such wonders, this government has been hard at work to find practical solutions. Two remedies in particular have been explored. I'd like to be able to say that this process has been smooth, but that is not the truth. As is well known, we have to work through a set of difficult issues with the management of BVI Airways. I hope to have positive news to report on that front in the coming weeks. But let me be clear on two points. First, this government will fight with every ounce of its strength to make sure that BVI Airways makes good on its commitment to this territory. And if it cannot, I will not do so, that the people of this territory are compensated for that loss. Second, this government will not stop working for a solution to this air access problem until more planes start landing and taking off from Beef Island. Dr. Smith was speaking during his national broadcast on August 1, responding to the failed no-confidence motion by opposition leader Andrew Foy.